everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel. And yeah, <laughs> I'm wearing a cosplay today. Ooh, surprise. Uh, actually, I'm, as you can tell from the background, I'm not at home. I'm at Michi's place in Düsseldorf. Yeah, there she is. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> um, and we're going to a convention today. Yeah, sounds crazy. Haven't been to a convention in almost, I don't know, two years one and a half years or so something. Um, yeah, Comic Con Dortmund has like a like small edition, like Comic Con Light or something it's called, or limited edition or so. So they have like limited amount of people attending and we will see what it is. I mean, it's summer. It's um, like, we don't have like so many cases um, here right now. So I think we, we just, when we saw that this convention is happening, we just took the chance, bought the tickets, and today's the day, so come follow me around. already starts with the first vendor that's kind of interesting because uh, it's all vintage Star Wars so yeah that's nice digging in the top of vintage Star Wars figurines uh, I already see that the prices are like not what I want to pay so it's more like just having a look also not a specific figurine that I would be totally into buying but yeah the ones in the case were even more expensive and I like pointed out to Michi that that one I just found at a flea market, etc. <laughs> also a lot of boxed vintage uh, Star Wars play sets and uh, vehicles. The big flat Darth Vader was actually a carrying case or a collector's case for your figurines. Interesting. Michi and I are actually thinking about getting like a new eater back each one of us. Just not decided yet, but let's see. Like the Star Wars stuff here is like not my price range, but it's nice to see, so. Oh! Ponies! Just not the ones that I'm searching for. In terms of comics, I'm always uh, searching for Star Wars, mostly the new stuff that's um, done by Marvel, but most of this was just DC and a tiny bit of Marvel, not interesting. This is actually uh, a vendor that uh, Michi and I know from several other uh, conventions before. Um, he is mostly uh, Star Wars from like old, vintage to new to everything in between. and. Uh, He's really nice, uh, he gives me good prices, so I'm always willing to buy something from him. Uh, he's, al he's also something uh, from, from other like sci-fi movies and stuff, but mostly Star Wars. And here I'm really interested in some of the uh, smaller three and three quarter inch ones. I'm interested in this Mon Mothma, especially because Michi is uh, cosplaying Mon Mothma that day. Not that outfit, uh, but yeah. Where is he? Who is this? Also, wie den Namen noch wüsste. Komm, den kennt man. Was ist es denn Feiner? Who, who is it? Is it? Das ist ein Pottrenner. Yes, he's a pot racer. Ja. And his name is not focusing. 
Hülle drin ist. Genau. Ben Quaginaros. Ja. Ja. Ich habe ihn gerade gesehen. 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 Clone Wars Folge oder so oder irgendwie sowas als Easter Egg so ein Poster von Ben Corginoros im Hintergrund hängen. Ja, irgendwie sowas. Geil. So richtig schön dämlich. Oh. Captain Turbots. I don't like you. I don't like you either. Bigs? Ja. Bigs Dark Leider. Das war eigentlich immer so die, die Rebels. Den habe ich auch neulich auf dem Flohmarkt gefunden. Für einen Euro. Anja. Tja, wenn man auf Flohmärkte geht. Spawn. Der sieht aber ein bisschen gut aus. Nee, er ist eine alte Figur. Das ist keine, keine so. Rebels-Figur, das ist eine alte Figur. Das ist eine, das ist eine, also, also. So basically I was not decided yet. So I had a look at some other figurines and I was also pretty sure that um, there was no rush in buying any of them because it's nothing that will, they won't be like sold when I come back after an hour or something. So, because not everyone's looking for Star Wars figurines at a Comic Con. <laughs> But he had a good selection, definitely. Some Mask, the movie, and some VR Troopers, which used to be a Power Rangers knockoff toy and definitely also a um, TV series. So I didn't know that. Michi told me about that. And what's that? Ah, yeah, Flintstones. Uh, she looks very. not very flattering. Let's say it like this. Is it for the movie? Is it for the first movie? Yeah, I think so. I really like this movie. It's so stupid, but it's like it captures uh, the, the original series really well. And I like the Flintstones. I think I've never said this in a video, but I really like the Flintstones. <laughs> Ooh, Jim Shore! Jim Shore Disney. Thank goodness that I've never started collecting some shorts, but they are beautiful. I'm just not the biggest Disney collector. I don't know why. Never really got into it. <laughs> One of the storybooks, they always look amazing. Oh, that's carriage. Right. Good. Snack like a bunny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Next snack time. Snack attack. Snack attack. Snack attack. Snack. Snack. Protect. Protect. Attack. Snack. Protect. Ah. So, yes, hammer. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Ah, yeah. This one is cool. Yeah. I'm just not. I, I've just never used those coffee mugs, whatever you call them. What are they? Coffee cups? More like cups? I don't know. I think mugs. Mugs? What? Is it a mug? Tumbler? 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 Is it more like a tumbler? Tumbler. Could be. I don't use them. Sorry. Little known fact about me, this is my favorite Ron outfit. <laughs> yeah, a while ago I even cosplayed Ron. And it was always my plan to cosplay also this outfit. 
I like the uh, Euro Ball outfit. It's so ugly that it is so good. Uh, what's Michi doing? Reading the Kleingedruckte. Wie gerne ist das denn, da soll man keine heißen Getränke reinfüllen? Ja, aber es ist nur für kalte. Das ist mehr so slushy und sowas. Ja, das war gut. Aber das steht hier nicht. Alien Remixes. So funny, that's always a green alien from Toy Story. Put in an outfit of another Pixar character, like Sully from On Sing, this is Nemo from Finding Nemo. That's Woody, that's Wally. What's behind? Oh, Lotso. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Just, there's also like a lot of like uh, Funko spot for these. I don't know who, who had the idea to put aliens in those costumes, but it works. I actually need bully or bullseye for my collection. That is so big. <laughs> and there, right in the corner, there's Rex. You can't see it. Pride Deadpool and Pride Contra. I really like that one. Ich mag keine BTS, äh, ich meine, äh, wie heißen die? 2021? Popo! Der ist ein Popo! Simba also used to make trolls. Nice on card. Happy trolley. You know, I've talked about Simba a lot in my recent videos because they are kind of the German toy company for making, like just known for making knockoffs. Like all the fakie ponies are from Zimba. I found a Zimba glow worm. I have a Mighty Max fakie thing. So they also did trolls. Interesting. No, it's not working anymore, but oh my goodness. Save time later. Save take off your masks and eat something because that's also like you can get a hamburger stuff like that we always bring our own food because we're cheap <laughs> no because it's I don't like hamburger and stuff so. ah yeah and also this I think is the main stage if you're interested in any of the actors guests stars which I I do know like none of them it's really like I don't know any of them 
I think there are people like uh, actors from Vikings and Witcher. Uh, uh, the Witcher. Uh, uh, I don't know anything of that. I've, I haven't watched any of these shows. So, so we usually like to watch some panels, but like this is like just when we kind of know who the person is. Otherwise, it's kind of strange sitting there. And, uh, yeah. And the sun is coming out, nice. I think I haven't even talked to you about what I'm wearing and why I'm looking like this. But I have a video on my channel about this costume, so I can... Or here, put it here, here, here. Anyways, I'm wearing Dr. Afra, so this is a Star Wars character. It's a Star Wars character that's... Right now, it's just appeared in comics, so she's like really from her own comic series. She started off in the one of the Darth Vader series, and then she got her own comic series. She's she's a archaeologist, really like a scoundrel. She's like she's crazy, and her all like all, all the stories like are pretty crazy. So that's what I can tell you about my costume. Michi is actually uh, the kind of the opposite. She's wearing her one of her Mon Mothma uh, cosplays. Mon Mothma is like the leader of the rebellion. So like um, we probably wouldn't normally sit together <laughs> on a table. This but, world, everything is possible. <laughs> yeah. So at, at conventions, everything's possible. And she's like Michi's. She's kind of always been Michi's favorite character from Star Wars. So. Always nice. She's wearing a, a costume that, that Mon Mothma is uh, wearing in the Rebels series. So if you have not watched Rebels, do it. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen. Oh, they're, they're sitting a Skeletor without his skeleton head. <laughs> Ghostbusters. There are other cosplayers. Um, not as crazy, I have to say, as at some other conventions, of course, because there's just not as many people as at other conventions that we visited. But there's some she in the background. There's a Jack Sparrow, some Lokis, the usual. So, and let's see what comes up next. A huge Legolas fan back then. Sie sind so hübsch. I really like them, but like, yeah. Oh, Captain Sakura, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even Maleficent looks super cute. Yeah. thing is that back when I was into manga and anime I really like never understood why you would like to have all these figurines why would you like to collect figurines I never understood that but now I collect too many things so now I'm a collector not of anime figurines but a lot of other figurines Now I know what it's to be a collector. Some Digimon figurines. Really good looking. And it's kind of like interesting for the both of us because we used to be like huge into Digimon. We were obsessed with it uh, in the beginning of our cosplay careers, you could say. We cosplayed every single Digimon season and I sewed every single character. That's a small German uh, Lolita fashion and uh, kawaii fashion brand. I just had a look at the, um, the print was really cute. I'm not wearing Lolita, but I'm always interested in it. I've always been. 
just had a look at uh, the prints of uh, these shirts and skirts and everything. Didn't like the fabrics too much, but you know, those colors looks always nice. Yeah, and I'm always a sucker for these like small little uh, decoden uh, accessories like these brushes. I do not have much of this because as I said I'm not a Lolita or really kawaii fashion interested anymore but I really like them. Like which one's the best? This, this, one. this, this is your style and I like this more because most is chocolate. Yeah, it's all chocolate sweets. And very Disney. You're right. I said Mickey's. I didn't yes. notice this. Oh, I've seen this rainbow. Like I've looked online for um, hair clips and then like all, all of the China stuff popped yeah. up. And, and these ones were in, in there. So these are, that this is like stuff that I um, almost would have bought. Yeah, super cute. Makes super sense. Oh. Super sweet. Oh. Ah, this is. Yeah, this. This one I think is really cool. This is mirror. This is a mirror, yeah. And I think this is like another brush that you yes. can like pop out, and then it's like a traveling brush. <laughs> Super sweet. A little bit too big for my taste, but <laughs> very good. Price wise, probably the same, right? Nine fifty, nine fifty. Yes. As I said in my room tour, I'm not gonna buy any more of the Black Series ones. But it's nice to see the Bokatan one. Grievous is cool. Four lightsabers. <laughs> oh, they have the new Masters ones. Actually, I've never seen them like in hand. Merman. <laughs> I mean, they are cool. They really look kind of like the vintage ones. Not completely, but it's nice. But if I get any more like Moto stuff, then it's just like when I find it out in the wild and vintage. Oh, Cantor. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Like this is the version, like this is like the vintage hat. It looks exactly like the vintage hat. And then I decided to make this hat. Like why? I don't understand. Because this looks cool. And this looks stupid. It looks really cooler out than this. Yeah. Auch die Frisur sieht nicht ganz so bedeppert aus wie das. Ja. Ich finde den Vintage Kopf besser. Loungefly backpacks. Not a big selection, but 
A couple of years ago, I was really obsessed with lounge fly stuff. I wanted to have all of the Disney backpacks. I mean, I have one lounge fly Star Wars one, but I use it a lot. They are really good quality and they have really nice designs. Mm. Yeah, Michi, Michi is interested in this uh, Mandalorian, um, the child baby Grogu one. Pickle it. They, they are just cute and we were uh, really thinking that that one would really match Michi's hair color. That would look really good and then we would both have one uh, for whenever we maybe get to the Disney parks and yeah. Oh and I really like this uh, whole selection of um, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic mugs. Uh, yeah but I just like the size of muck I really don't use a lot. I have two of them. I have one with Rarity and one with uh, Fluttershy because they are at conventions very often. <laughs> yeah, this is just a bus with a nice logo of the Comic Con. That's why we some photos it's just like I don't really need photos of my costume Michi neither so it's like just some like to remember that we were here yes <laughs> we but, were here yeah. we have proof <laughs> yeah. but other than that actually I think we have seen everything yes. it's not as big so but I, I, I have not bought anything yet yeah I'm, I'm really wrong it <laughs> Uh, just because I'm thinking if I should buy. There is the Ida bag, which I would like to consider. There are two Funko Pops. Yes. I definitely want to buy at least one Star Wars figurine because um, one of the vendors, uh, uh, I don't know if, if I have him on, on camera already, like um, Daniel. <laughs> we often meet him at, at conventions. He has like lots of Star Wars stuff, like vintage, modern, everything in between. And whenever I, I see him at a convention, I usually always buy at least one thing. So. And you already told him you want yeah. to buy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm just thinking if I, I might buy them on Mothma maybe. Of course, would why be, not? <laughs> yeah, would be that shame because she's she's cosplaying on Mothma. So, yeah. What else? You saw the um, Launchfly bag. Launchfly bag of, back of, uh, of Gogo, the child. The child, yeah. yeah. It's really cute. Yes. Yes. Together with some nice BT21 yeah, because, sticker set. Because Michi actually, she's also a fan of BTS. <laughs> I'm not into K-pop at all, so also BTS. Like I know them, okay, but I can't tell them apart. And I like <laughs> their music. Okay. Their music is cool. So I have, like it's, it's whenever we we just put the music on, I'm always like, oh, that yes. sounds that sounds good. So so why not? But she's a fan of BTS, so she's also on the hunt for some BTS or BT21 things. Yes. Most of the stuff is just generic merch stuff yeah, that we've some seen. Some old posters. Super old posters, so not 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 that interesting. But there might be something like you have yes. seen these stickers, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs>
Very interesting and colorful stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually not a huge Hello Kitty fan, to be honest. I just grabbed yeah, the The purples is more interesting, yeah, right? The purples is definitely more interesting. I just grabbed this one because it's so colorful. <laughs> like, that's just my. It's kind of wise to smile. It's pretty, pretty. That's a new passion you got. <laughs> some, some. What are the uh, octopi? Yes, uh, he octopi. Has a big on his head. His hair is very short. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, can I so have so you can look at his face again? Here you go. This is Mocha. 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 And he drinks he or she? What was it? Uh, like, mocha is a he. Oh, is a he. He drinks too much coffee. coffee. That's why he's, he's brown. He's so brown, though. No. Yes, <laughs> indeed. But we have all colors. So. Because Octopi change colors, we wanted to have every color available. Sure, sure, that makes total sense. Yes, and normally I have three questions to help you choose an octopus. The ah. first question is if you want a fancy octopus or a down-to-earth octopus. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So I definitely want a fancy one. Okay. Down-to-earth. <laughs> okay, cool. Fancy and down-to-earth. Would you also like to have the quiz? Oh, okay. So you can just look then, that's fine. So fancy and then down-to-earth, and then would you like warm or cool? Warm. Fancy warm? Cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put some options on the table. Um, here's a few. I'm picking this one because you said you like Star Wars. One second, I will tell you ah. different. Now. Oh, actually, and then also dark or light. Or oh, light. Yes. Oh. Uh, dark. And then. Uh, and dark or light? Light. Okay, <laughs> I like that you all are opposites. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Just warm. Yeah, with, and these with, yeah. here. Yeah. I'm most likely. So the octopuses that I'm putting out are ones that match your descriptions, and then I will tell you their personalities in a minute. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Okay. So does purple still count? Yes. I thought it would be a down-to-earth color, but it's also kind of a color that is, I don't know, expressive and creative? Yeah, but after these two, I hope you pick a purple one. <laughs> yeah, because she... Sh should, I, should I tell you something? That she really doesn't like blue? Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna switch but, out but for it's a glittery. Yeah, he's space. He's space. Yes. I'm gonna put Penbrook back. But he's patrol. Yes, Penbrook is very sweet, and this is Maud Van Brotlin. And she hosts lots of tea parties. Ooh. Yes? Uh, funny. One more. Oh yeah. Your first choice was, was very good. Ah okay. Because I thought you do, don't like blue. That's why yeah, I, I like thought. The, I hate this color. Oh this color. For so this is okay. So this is this. Yeah, is okay. this is not blue. Ah okay. <laughs> so this octopus is called Scarlet. Scarlet is an artist, and because of being an artist, uh, it ha or she has one um, color in each of the pots. Yeah. And that's why she's so many different. And she puts them on the walls. But this octopus is really good if you want to have something that goes on your wrist. Uh, you can totally. put pins in her, especially feel her head. She's very squishy. Yeah, yeah. But she's made of cotton. So it's stiff. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Yanis. Uh, Yanis is very into um, collecting a lot of different types of flowers, and that's oh. why uh, he is this color. It's yeah. kind of soft and pastel, and he likes things to be relaxed, but is also kind of excitable. Uh, this octopus is called uh, Snicket. Snicket? Yes, King Snicket. King, ah. Okay. Yeah, King Snicket um, really, really uh, likes it to be cooler than it is. And that's why he's frowning, because yeah. he would really like it to cool down. Okay. Um, this octopus is kind of um, got really long tentacles and yeah, good at you're giving right. hugs. Yeah, yeah. So, would you like to try on your arm? 
so it goes like this. I'm not gonna lock it, but yeah, you would do yeah, it yeah, more if makes, you wanted it makes to sense. I picked out long ones for you oh. just in case you wanted for... Um, yeah, 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 makes sense, makes sense. This octopus is called Orion. Orion. Yes, uh, Orion uh, has gone a little bit... Um, like, he spends a lot of time looking through his um, telescope. Okay. Yes, and that's why you can see that one of his eyes is... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Looking at his telescope. <laughs> uh, the reason that he's sparkling is because he's looking at stars. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so now. Yes. <laughs> Such a cutie. This octopus is called Pembroke. Uh, this octopus Pembroke. is called Pembroke. This octopus uh, likes to write things down and would help you remember things. Oh. This is perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Uh, this octopus is a pirate called Devilish Doris. Devilish Doris? Yes, uh, Doris uh, makes the plans for the other pirates and uh, is kind of like schemy and mischievous. Oh. Yeah. Yep. You I like know, I made it a plan. difficult decision, sorry. <laughs> really my characters. <laughs> oh. Hey Snicket! Looks like he's sleeping. Yeah, my yeah. personal octopus looks like Snicket. Morning everyone! So yesterday I kind of didn't make like an end video or anything. I think the last thing you saw were like the octopi <laughs> uh, at the convention but like yeah that's that's when we went home and today is the next day so it's like we bought tickets for both days so Sunday and yeah we're about to leave we're still here at Michi's place and a little bit like uh, like not really decided concerning the weather right now it looks like beautiful it's sunny you can see here the sun uh, but it's supposed to rain today and it's supposed to get really cold so which jackets do I take with me and to not like like put all of the jackets like in my in my bag that would be like really full and really heavy uh, so I guess I stick with the jean jacket here by the way today I'm wearing my bo peep from Toy Story 4 um, yeah right now I'm just wearing the jumpsuit and I have like the skirt or slash cape thing just in my bag right now because it's easier to like walk around without that. Um, Michi's actually, oh that really is the best way here, Michi's actually wearing a cosplay that's like at least 10 years old. She's worn that, I don't know, 10 years ago at a convention but she, she never wore it again so it's like why not wear it uh, today. It's uh, from Tekken. It's a character from Tekken, that's, that's all I know. <laughs> it's Asuka or something in a special, special outfit. I really no no idea, I've never been into Tekken, but she looks cute, so... So I guess, let's see you at the con. Hello everyone, so we're at the con and it's so nice and sunny out that I just decided, that we just decided to sit down for a while. <laughs> Because as I said, it's supposed to rain actually, but... <laughs> not at the moment. Not at the moment. Like Michi's already wearing her cardigan again. Not because she's cold, but because she's afraid of sunburn, so... <laughs> This is one of those vintage Godzilla figurines that were like everywhere in the early 90s. I also remember seeing one of those like in the, in the toy stores and everything. I think I saw one at a flea market recently. I think I didn't film it. They're pretty pricey nowadays. I already have one but I would like to have one. 
So we're here again. I can help you. And after to, like yesterday's like intense like struggle, who to adopt of these little creatures? We have like chosen for these two. There you go. Thank you. Yes, very well. Have a nice day. And you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at that, it's like a rainbow of, of octopi. It starts with green, then it gets into yellow. Here's all the pink and purple ones. Oh, I love it. Hi. And she's the creator. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Cutie honey. The cat kept a sakura, but in Korean? Korean. Korean. Super sweet. Here's just like another stand of these like super cute candy filled accessories and like this time I just it's not there anymore but I bought the ring that's that was exactly there. I will show it to you afterwards. Like probably in the whole part but That's her. And we got ourselves some cocktails. <laughs> yeah, when we saw that uh, at a convention, they they said like gave out alcoholic beverages. I mean, I like cocktails. That's the only alcohol things I drink, and they were made by Deadpool. <laughs> I mean, a cosplayer. <laughs> cocktail at a convention before, right? No. <laughs> so I cannot even tell you what cocktail this is. It's like a mixture of... Yeah, it's a freestyle cocktail. It's a freestyle cocktail. <laughs> I actually, I usually wanted to, as I usually take a mojito, but they didn't no have any lemons. lemons. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Tastes like gummy beers. They tasted really, really good and uh, both actually totally different. And I was really <laughs> mesmerized by the, you know, do you see that the golden glitter in it? What kind of stuff is this? I mean, looks beautiful. <laughs> Here we are again. Yeah. Shooting because a location is not really super special. 
Um, and I have photos of this cosplay. I mean, I can put them in a little bit like now. So I really don't need photos actually, but it was actually a nice day again. We we're mostly sitting and drinking. Michi <gasps> is also laughing behind the camera. Michi, yeah. do you want to come into the picture as well? <laughs> I liked it. it was just an, a little bit of like what it was before. Yes. When yes, we right. went like this was actually what I always used to do. Go to conventions, make cosplays for it. I've changed. So like I'm definitely more into the toy collecting uh, than I am into cosplay. But it was really nice to feel the convention again. And I hope also you had a little bit of fun. So. Probably you will see now a little bit of the haul. I promise to make it a short one so it's not a super long video, but bye-bye. Uh, so, very quickly, here's everything that I bought over the weekend. Uh, I bought two Funko Pops. You probably saw that in the video that I was like interested in them. I bought the uh, Pride Trooper and I bought the Popples, so the retro toy line uh, Funko Pops for the Popples. I got myself a new uh, hairbrush. I bought this really sweet candy ring. I bought two uh, Star Wars three and three quarter inch uh, figurines for my collection. So I got one Mothma. And I got uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. He's not from the Rebel series. He is based on the um, like Legends Thrawn, so from the old expanded universe. Both are from 1998, so they belong into the Power of the Force collection. And Michi and I both bought one of these octopus. Uh, this octopi just because she was it was really funny talking to her and um, when she was explaining all of the uh, character traits of them etc so I bought this one this is candy and she will be my um, needle pillow or I don't know what you call it where you put pins while sewing I bought the uh, DVD set of uh, Didinos, so Dinosaurs, the puppet series um, from the 90s, which I really like, which was supposed to come to Disney Plus. I don't know, probably in the US it is on Disney Plus or whatever, in Germany it's not, so I couldn't wait any longer. I love it, so now I have it on TV. 
that I bought two things uh, which are not for me but for uh, my niece when she like their, pro their birthday presents. I hope she's not watching the video but mostly she's not watching my videos. Um, she recently got really into a Marvel. I'm watching all the Marvel movies with her and the Marvel series and she loves baby Groot. <laughs> so I bought this Groot figurine that will start like dancing when the sun shines on it. So it's a solar toy, it's not really a toy, it's a figurine. And she's also a huge Harry Potter fan. She's a Hufflepuff, so I got her this little badger Hufflepuff pin from one of the artists. Thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope you had fun walking around with me at the convention. It was really nice to feel like the convention air again. I don't know when the next one will be because it's really up in the air how how they like like bigger events are treated here in Germany. So let's see. Thank you for watching. See you real soon, and may the force be with you. Bye.